For some time I've been thinking about doing a video comparing my Workmate 400 that I picked up at a garage sale to my Workmate 425 and I think I finally had enough experience with both benches to make an effective comparison so to give you some insights into both these benches. I guess the first thing I wanted to talk about was the installation documents. The installation document or the assembly document for the 400 is two pages uh, with very good illustrations and very, very well done step-by-step uh, -step instructions. And I covered this in another video. The, the, the assembly instructions for the 425 are less than a full page. They're very poorly written, written by someone who's not a native English speaker, probably not a native French speaker. Um, so I really like the, um, the assembly instructions for the Workmate 400 a lot better. Um, I'm going to try to get up here pretty close so you can see this. The bench top for the 400 is made out of particle board. It is a little over an inch. The Workmate 425 is a little less than half an inch thick. And because it's made out of particle board, you can see here, I hope you can see this well enough, there is some distortion or some warping in both of these panels. So you can see how it's tied up here, so it's sagging in the middle. I don't think this was left out in the rain. I think it's normal humidity is what's done that to this particular bench. And there's also appears to be some swelling in the dog holes because the dogs don't go in out very easily anymore. One of the things I do like about this bench is because it's over an inch thick, the horizontal groove for clamping cylindrical objects is much bigger than in the 425, which is less than half an inch. So I think that's very much a plus for this particular bench. Also for this bench, it does have a nice area for you to store tools or nuts and bolts or parts that you're using during your project. I think that's a plus for this particular bench. I don't use that feature and I do find it a little bit frustrating because it does have a tendency to collect a lot of dust. I do when I finish up any project I take both my benches or the bench that I'm working on out to the entry of the garage and I blow them out with my leaf blower and this is usually when I've been drilling or sawing is usually filled with uh, chips and so forth. This does have vertical clamping like the uh, 425 but the difficulty is you're going to have to use two hands to do that. I'm going to come down here. If you can see that knob, that knob has to be turned into a certain position to unlock this. And even though I've set it up, it's still not locked in place. So you have to go to both sides and you have to lock both sides to put it in place. So that means if you have a larger piece of material that you want to work on, and it's rather cumbersome, you're going to have to have someone help you or you're going to have to have a sawhorse out there holding it for you unless or until you get it clamped. Another thing I do like about this bench, let me see if I can get this out of here. On the back side of these holders, the, the piece that holds this in is made out of metal. It's not plastic like on the 425. I'm going to zoom in here close so you can see it. So on the 425, this is plastic. So I think this is going to last a lot longer. Of course, this bench is going to be 20 years old and it still doesn't need to be replaced. I'm guessing that at some point I'm going to have to replace my plastic ones. I may just punch a hole in it and put a bolt or a piece of metal in there that looks just like this. From a mechanical standpoint, I would say that from the top on down, the rest of this bench is pretty much the same. I, again, I'm not being a mechanical expert. I don't know much about welds or rivets, but it looks to be pretty much the same bench. I would imagine that some of the lower parts are interchangeable. Okay. Uh, so overall, I do like this bench. It's the one that I'm probably the toughest on if I'm going to do some difficult work or I'm going to be painting or gluing, this is the bench that I do it on for right now. Let's look at the 425. One of the things I did notice uh, on the 425 is the difference between the dogs. So you'll see here that the newer dog is about 20-25% taller. 
It also has some vertical and horizontal grooves in it, which the 400 bench dog does not have. So you can see the difference there. Another big difference in the 425 is you have three panels instead of two. I have voided my warranty by drilling holes in the center panel. I don't know why they do, don't have holes in them, but I put those in. Um, you'll notice too, this is a little bit thinner. I don't know that the light's going to allow you to see that very well. There it is. It's less than a half inch thick. It is made of bamboo as opposed to particle board. I'm guessing that it is laminated bamboo. Um, I looked up bamboo on the web on the Janka, J-A-N-K-A, wood hardness chart. And native bamboo is harder than white oak. Um, that makes it pretty hard. I did have to drill out these holes myself. And compared to drilling through a typical 2x4, this was far, far, far more difficult. I have not used the same drill bit on oak, so I can't give you a, a direct comparison, but this was very hard to drill through. Of course, since you can see this is fairly new, I haven't experienced any warping. I'm guessing because they say it can hold 425 pounds, even though it's, or 450 pounds, it is fairly strong and should be comparable to the particle board. So check back with me in 20 years and I'll let you know whether the, whether the bamboo has worked as well in, in, in handling the uh, uh, moisture in the air, the humidity in the air. As I mentioned to you earlier, the parts here that hold the, um, the panels into the track are made out of plastic. They are not metal. Um, that, you know, I think at some point they're going to wear out as I mentioned earlier. Also, if you take a look at my getting the most out of your WorkMate 425, my second video, the part two, you'll see how this is one-handed, uh, how you can actually turn the vertical clamping on with just one hand, and you don't have to turn a knob back and forth to, to make that work. So, and, and also, I think I mentioned to you, there was no panel down here in the bottom. I did another video on that shows you how to do that. If you want to do that, take a look on how to make that bottom tray. Also, this particular bench does have holes to where you could put parts or put screwdrivers or pliers or what have you and hold them in place underneath the bench as well. So this is my comparison between the two benches. If I had a 425 brand new and a 400 brand new and I had to make a choice between one and the other, I would choose the 425. I would do that for several reasons. First of all, I think the bamboo is going to hold up a lot longer. Number two, I really like the one-handed uh, clamping capability, vertical clamping capability with this, this little bar down here. Um, and I do like the additional workspace that the third panel provides me with so that I can spread out a little bit more than I could uh, with the other bench. So I would choose the 425 for those reasons. So I hope this gives you insights into both of these benches uh, and helps you out with some of your projects. So good luck on your projects.